Hey guys, look what I'm here to talk about today. Yes, my latest blog on my top sunscreen picks for the cold winter months. Um, so I knew that I was going to be doing this all, all year. And, you know, I was thinking as I was testing, I don't even know how many sunscreens I tested, probably as many vitamin C, uh, serums as I tested, which is like a thousand and seventy. Um, and so all year long I was thinking, okay, this is a really thick sunscreen. This is going to be really occlusive, perfect for the cold. Um, and here I am, I have my collection. I uh, posted up the blog this week, and here's the video review. Um, be sure to check out the blog at SkinKarma.com, and I'm just going to jump right into it. This is one of the coolest sunscreens that I have come across this year, the Super Goop Cloud 9. I love Super Goop, first of all. I've never tried a single sunscreen product from Super Goop that I didn't love. Um, in fact, they only have sunscreen products, but this is just really cool. It's a bomb. You see it? And in winter, like, there's nothing better for your skin than a bomb, right? So, like, the, the, the big trend um, going on right now is something called slugging, and that's using uh, ingredients, products that contain uh, really, really occlusive ingredients like petrolatum. This does not carry petrolatum, but but to to act as a, in an inclusive fashion, which means to uh, kind of put a veil over your skin uh, and prevent transepidermal transepidermal water loss, um, loss of moisture, loss of hydration that dries you out, dehydrates your skin, and is super unhealthy. Um, but this stuff is just really, really, really cool. It's uh, about twenty six bucks, so not too expensive. If I remember correctly, there's a 30%, no, 20%, 20% uh, level of zinc oxide in here and a very tiny amount. It was like 1% of titanium dioxide. But there's also a slew of um, vitamin and fatty acid rich oils, including baobab. And the first ingredient on this sunscreen is actually baobab, which is the tree of life. It's a indigenous to Africa. It's a huge, huge tree. It lasts like a thousand years and it stores water in its trunk during um, the rainy season. And it uses that water during the dry periods to, to survive. Um, would it that we uh, had that ability in the winter to um, have stores of water in our body um, to combat the cold, dry air that sucks the life out of us all winter long. But uh, it's super interesting. I mean, baobab extract, baobab oil, like as the first ingredient in a product, I just think that's really cool. Um, I first heard of baobab oil um, back in my days at Kiehl's and we had created something that I called baobab fortifying skin therapy. Um, and it was a, a, an anti-aging moisturizer, a, a, a skin firming moisturizer for men um, since discontinued sadly. But uh, anyway, this is like super versatile. Like you can pop this in your bag, your backpack, your handbag, your coat pocket, and you know apply this on particularly uh, um, sunny days on your nose, say. Um, but that brings me to the point that you should be wearing sunscreen all year long, every day, um, on cloudy days, on rainy days, on seemingly sunless days. Those UV rays get through. But anyway, love this stuff. If you've been seeing it out there, now you know it's super cool and it's really well formatted. It's clean, natural, and just really good for skin. Um, I guess where I'll go next is one of my sun my favorite sunscreens of all time. This isn't a new sunscreen and it's not a new sunscreen to me. Not all of these products are new this year. Um, this was launched about a year and a half, two years ago maybe. I've written it up on the blog a few times, but it's simply one of the best sunscreens and particularly for the, I'm sorry, for the winter months. And you'll see just how thick it is. Super, super thick. You see it? It is rich in shea butter, all kinds of non-fragrant plant oils. 
But what's interesting about the Solara Time Traveler is it has uh, an ingredient in it called ashwagandha. And you know that ashwagandha is like an adaptogenic herb, an adaptogenic mushroom that helps to soothe and calm, uh, soothe and tom, soothe and calm the skin. Um, do I even, I'm just going to keep putting sunscreen on. And of course, I'm just going to do it on my neck. But uh, there's so, again, there's shea butter in here. There's coconut oil, sunflower oil. So coconut oil, I know some people don't, um, don't care for coconut oil, that it has the tendency to be comedogenic on some people. Um, so if you're not a fan of coconut oil, this isn't your sunscreen. But if coconut oil isn't bothersome to you, I say go for it. Um, let me, I have to wipe the palette. I have to wipe the slate clean because now I have sunscreen all over my hands. Um, one of the things I really love about the Solara Time Traveler is this, it gives you this incredible glow. So you see it blends right in, at least it blends into my skin tone and, and skin tone, I know, um, Darker skins have a, a hard time sometimes with um, mineral sunscreens, but this uses a non-nano zinc um, oxide um, sun filter, and it, it 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 honestly it blends in super well, and it's it just feels really great on skin. This also doubles perfectly well as a moisturizer. Um, as a matter of fact, well, not all of them do. Um, obviously with that high level of Baobab non-fragrant plant oil and this baby, great as a moisturizer, really, really good as a moisturizer. It's a good, clean, natural mineral sunscreen formula. Uh, next is the relatively new pharmacy Green Defense, uh, daily mineral sun sunscreen. This is SPF 30, Time Travelers SPF 30, uh, Cloud 9, I can't remember if it was 30 or it's SPF 40. Um, so Green Defense is SPF 30. This came out, I don't know, maybe four or five months ago. It's got a 6-2 ratio, 6% uh, zinc oxide, 2% titanium dioxide. There's also a slew of non-fragrant plant oils in here. There was sunflower, safflower oil in here. There's echinacea. There's also something called black chokeberry, which is really high, has a really high content of vitamin C. Um, so this baby is 36 bucks, also very thick. Um, I don't think that this is the thickest of all of them, but it's up there. You see, this also has quite a white cast for a few minutes until it, um, is, it kind of gets absorbed and then it fades in. Um, usually by the time, if I'm wearing this one in the morning, by the time I'm out of the house, we're all good. So you see, it just, it just kind of, I don't know, it just does it, does its thing and, and, and we're all good. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about this product, but, oh, you know, the, the whole thing about SPF 30, SPF 50, like what should you be doing? So the reality is SPF 50, which is the MD Solar Sciences uh, mineral creme, SPF 50 blocks 98% of the sun's UV, UV rays, uh, UVB rays. SPF 30 blocks uh, 97%. And F SPF 15, are there even any SPF 15 products out on the market? They SPF 15 blocks 93% um, of UVB rays. So you really want to, don't, don't go under, S don't go, go under SPF 30. It's just not worth it. Um, okay, so let's go to the MD Solar Sciences. Also not new, but such a really good formula. This is pretty much a perfect anti-aging product. This product is filled. Not only does it have um, an SPF 50 protection at 17% zinc oxide, I think it was, and 2%. I think it was 17 and 2. Um, but it's got it's jam-packed with, with antioxidants like a huge amount of antioxidants in here. There's antioxidant green tea, there's antioxidant cranberry extract, there's uh, pomegranate extract, there's CoQ10, there's vitamin C, there's squalene in here. 
really, really good product. Um, it's 30 bucks, so it's a little bit thin. It's thinner, I would say, uh, than the pharmacy. I love using this. Love it. Smells like nothing. All of these are fragrance free. All of them are clean. Um, and four are natural. Really, really good. It has just a, a really nice texture to it. It feels super velvety. Um, it goes on great. It takes a little bit. This is this is the one that probably takes the longest amount of time for the white cast to dissipate, but dissipate it does. Um, if you're not familiar with MD Solar Sciences, guys, familiarize yourself. They they have some really, really good products. Um, and this baby is just, it's like I said, it's a near perfect anti-aging formula, 30 bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, and that brings me to uh, the MD Solar Sciences uh, sun stick. This is an SPF 30. I love using this around my eyes. This is what I use it for. Look at this. It goes on so easy. It has only a slight tint. It looks so much darker in the tube than it actually is. Um, and you can see on the back of my hand, it's really subtle. The tint is really subtle. It's like, it's like the perfect amount um, for your under eye area for dark circles. Um, it doesn't look like makeup, which would make me crazy. It's only also 19 bucks. And again, SPF 30, it's a, uh, if I remember correctly, there was like a perfect balance, six, 7% of each titanium dioxide and zinc, zinc dioxide. And then last, this is the most innovative sunscreen that I have come across in forever. Um, since the last super innovative sunscreen, I, sunscreen I came across. Um, no, honestly, water-free. There's no water in this formula, which makes it supremely occlusive. It's all sunscreens and sunscreen filters and oil. Um, it is the only one that is a blend of mineral and chemical sunscreen filters. No water. It's got Uvenil, Uvenil uh, A plus in it, which is kind of like the latest sunscreen filter uh, innovation. It's got zinc oxide, octocrylene, and I forgot this other one called Bimo Midrazolol, and I don't remember what that was actually. But look at this. Zero water, zero water. I love that. All of Skinny's products are water-free. Super, super innovative, amazing product. There's, uh, there's two of them. Uh, this one's called Conquer. I can't remember what the other one. Oh, Sun, Sun Gel SPF 30. This one is SPF 50 with a PA plus 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 rating. You see it? The pluses go all the way around the tube. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just a really amazing product. It's uh, 50 bucks on the Skinny's website that they're based in Australia, they're just getting going, and I really need you to support them because this is super innovation. Like, it got me really, like, crazy excited. Um, so, guys, sunscreen every day of the year, promise me. Promise Skin Karma you are going to wear sunscreen every single day, even on cloudy, seemingly sunless days, all right? I'll catch you later. Ciao. And don't forget, go to the blog, skincarma.com. Everything's there.